Hey YouTube, Jim here. My guest today is my Lennox natural gas G40UH furnace. And I just want to give a quick rundown on how a natural gas furnace works. And I have no HVAC certification, so this is just strictly for entertainment purposes. However, I do like to do my own cleaning and maintenance. However, if you're not comfortable doing these projects yourself, I always suggest that you call your local professionals to come down. They'll be more than happy to clean and maintain your furnace for you. So uh, if you're going to do any work, we do have a switch here, which mine's in the off position right now. You want to make sure it's off. And we do have the main shutoff here for, for the natural gas, but we're not going to mess with that. So there are a few things that have to happen in sequence in order for the furnace to work. And the first thing that will happen is the temperature in the house will drop below our setting. We have on a thermostat, so it'll call for heat. And this inducer motor will be the first thing that will kick on. And that's gonna bring air in, and it's also gonna purge the flue here of any unburned gas from the last cycle. And while this is running, it's gonna pull vacuum through this little hose here to this limit switch. And after that happens, the next thing we will see happen is behind this burner here, is a igniter and that's going to glow red cherry cherry red and will get really hot upwards to 2000 degrees and uh, these all come apart here quite easily for cleaning so igniter will light up get nice and hot and this valve here will release the gas and this burner will light first and there's channels behind here so the flame will travel to the next burner and then the next. So all three burners will light. And we do have a flame sensor behind this burner right here. And I know it's a little dark in there, but I can't stress how important it is to keep that flame sensor clean. Uh, they do get dirty after a while and that could cause them not to work. And that's the only thing that detects your burners have ignited. And if that gets dirty and no longer works, this whole thing will just shut down. And that'll probably happen on the coldest night of the year in the middle of the night. And the temperature in your house is gonna drop like a stone and in a panic you'll wake up and call a technician who's gonna charge you a small fortune to come out to your house in the middle of the night, spend 15 minutes cleaning that and have your furnace up and running again. And that comes out very easily. Just back here, this little white, wire here comes off there's just one screw down here that holds it in place that can be removed it can be cleaned with some steel wool or a wire brush clean steel wool or a clean wire brush and you don't want to touch it get your oils from your fingers on it but that should be cleaned in the fall and i like to clean it again actually i just did because it's been very cold here in the greater st louis area so keep that nice and clean and so once the burners have lit, the flame sensor says we have a good, uh, a good light here. Everything's working. The blower will kick on. And that's going to pull air in from upstairs through the air intake vents down this ductwork here. And then in this way through our filter. And I can't stress enough to keep your filters clean. I like to use the basic 3M filtry filters. There's nothing special. They're just the basic filters. I don't use those heavy duty uh, filters because they can uh, be more restrictive. And the last thing I want to do is impede airflow to my furnace or my air conditioner. So I just use the basic filters here. It's just me and my wife that live here and we spend most of our days at work. We don't have any pets. So um, before I install my filter dough, I'd, I'd like to spray the front of it with some cooking spray and that'll help trap any of the smaller dust particles or whatever. So I change mine once every three months. Keep your filter clean. That is definitely one thing you can do. And so air will come in and will travel through the blower, up through the heat exchanger, and then up through the house, through the vents on the floor, heating the house. And once the thermostat detects that uh, the house is uh, warm, it shuts down, the valve will turn off, the fire will go out, the inducer motor will shut off, and then the blower will run for probably another minute and a half the heat exchanger down and then the whole thing will be reset for the next cycle and that's about all there is to it so
So I can't stress how important it is to keep your furnace maintained. You always take care of what takes care of you. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw the switch on here and see what happens. Okay, there goes our inducer motor. And that's gonna run for about a half a minute or so. And then we'll wait for our igniter here. And that'll glow bright red. And then when this does light, you'll see the flame travel from right to left. There we go. All right, we have a good light. When you see a nice blue flame like that, you know you got a good light. And the blower will kick on and heat my house. And that's about all there is to it, to a natural gas furnace. Thanks for watching.